Last week I played an AutoCAD prank to a co-worker as a way to have some fun because you know life is not all about work. Anyway, here are the tricks I used so you can play a spooky Halloween trick to your co-workers too. Hi AutoCAD designer, last week we saved you some time creating a dynamic block. Today let's have fun with some Halloween tricks. Before we start, I want to let you know that sadly I'm having some issues with my eyes. So I won't be able to edit my videos as usual till I can get a video editor that can help me. So for the first Halloween trick, we're going to use a system variable called users1 and basically we can type anything here. I'm going to type something like stop working to avoid spooky Halloween tricks, something like that. Oops. <laughs> Stop working to avoid Halloween. Oops. That's my baby. <laughs> anyway, tricks. So once we do that, and let's go to the alias edit command. And, and let's say for your friend or your coworker, if uh, let's say they use mostly the line command for everything, right? Try to find a command that they use often. So in this case, I'm going to look for the line command. Um, so I'm going to click edit first. And then I'm going to over here type L. Oops, sorry. So I'm going to go here and type users1. So once I click that and go to the alias, I'm going to type L because I know the L is the shortcut key for the line command. So I'm going to click OK and it says this. Yes. And the alias L now refers to users1 and OK and say yes. OK. So now the next time that you co-worker try to use the line command and press L and enter. You can see that a message pops out says stop working to avoid Halloween tricks. And it was, so that's the first trick. And then let's go for the second Halloween trick that you can play to your friends or coworkers. We're going to use another system variable called mode macro. So once we use this system variable, again, we can uh, specify anything here. I'm going to set something like believe in the Halloween magic and then I'm gonna do a couple of spaces before and after the phrase so it's more shows more bigger oops that was something to uh, rest my eyes but anyway so once you do that and simply press enter you can see that there is a message here on the status bar <laughs> showing your um, your uh, your comment, right? You can type anything basically. But this is another trick that you can play to your coworkers. So let's go with the third one, which this is gonna be a command that we're gonna use and. Oops. <laughs> And then the command. So the command is gonna be toolbar. So once we do that, we have two options. It, we have one option, and it's the all. So I'm gonna type all, and then I'm gonna say show. So once I do that, all of the toolbars that exist in AutoCAD are gonna show like this, and this is a another Halloween uh, trick or prank that you can do to your friends. To revert this, simply use the same command, show, sorry, toolbar, 
and then all and height. So that would be the third Halloween trick. And then the fourth one, we're gonna use an AutoCAD Auto Lisp function. It's called alert. So basically you have to go here on the command line and type alert and then you can put your message here something like um, happy ha low bow something like that and then press enter and you can see that a message shows in AutoCAD and you can put whatever you want here so now let's go with the fifth Halloween trick which is the simplest one but it's also the more effective which is unplug the computer mouse and the keyboard so they your friends cannot do basically anything in AutoCAD all right so let me show you now how I put into practice all of these Halloween tricks with a co-worker Can you close it? What the? <laughs> 